John Ram and a few of his fellow PGA Tour counterparts are absolutely slagging off one of the holes this week at the US PGA Championship. Now, I saw this live during round two, but I bet these players, and you won't believe this, I bet these players have had these thoughts throughout the whole tournament. Yes, guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on Bat9 Films. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you never miss a breaking news story. Okay, so the US PGA Championship is hotting up. So let's first just get you up to date with the top 10. In first place, we have Scheffler, Connors, and Hovland. Did anybody see Hovland wearing Puma shoes, by the way? That was a new one. They are closely followed by Shu, DeChambeau, Kepka, Taron, Pendrith, Rose, Lee, Sevenson, McElroy. Now, I said this yesterday. McElroy was not far off. I said after round one, do not count him out. And he's put himself back into contention in tie 10th. If he has another decent round today, he is back in this championship. I said to everybody, do not write him off. I didn't believe it when people were voting saying McElroy was never going to win a major championship this year or actually didn't have a chance of one. He's not out of this one. Now, to round up the top 10, we've also got Lowry, Bradley, Neem Smith, Block, Strecker, Mitchell... And then in 19th, we have Fox. So we have a lot of players who are within five shots of the lead. McElroy is back at level par. Scheffler, Hovland and Connors are at minus five. This tournament is not over for Rory. This tournament's not over for Shane Lowry. Don't forget, he is a major champion too. But I'm going to say right now, like... I can't see past Scheffler. And actually, I find it quite funny. I do feel that each week, it's like either... Rahm and Scheffler. Shall we flip a coin, mate? Shall we see who's going to win this week? Scheffler, Rahm. Scheffler, Rahm. It does start to feel that way because you know when Scheffler is up there, he's leading, he's in the hunt. It's hard to look past right now. Really hard to look past. Or, on the other hand, are some of the live golfers who are catching up right now going to upset the apple cart? I want to see your predictions over the weekend. Who is going to come out on top? So please do get down in those comments. Okay, to this story, all about the 11th hole. Now, this hole to me is just absolutely ridiculous. And it annoys me. It really does annoy me. And it's annoying. Ram. This hole is the 11th hole this week. And it measures 248 yards. And it's a par 3. It measures 248 yards. And it's a par 3. Now, you know it's a long hole when the likes of Ram are hitting, like, a recovery iron in there. So, during round two yesterday, Ram hit this, like, beautiful high fading, I think, let's say, two iron, three iron, a long iron. Whatever it was, it was a long club. Landed middle of the green and went through the green. What are you meant to do? Now, Ram's response to this was, great hole, PGA, great effing hole. Now, this was captured live. I actually saw this shot, heard him say it, and I was like, oh, <gasps> tumbleweed. I wasn't surprised. I bet every single pro this week is saying that. Now, I want to add right now, he made par here, chipped it close, hold the putt. But it's ridiculous. It's not a par three. It's a better hole if you make it a short par four and move the hole back 50 yards. It ruins golf courses. What are your thoughts on long par threes like this that measure over 240 yards? I think they're absolutely stupid. They shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be on a tournament. Because it's just absolutely astronomical. It plays into the hands of the long hitters. And even they are struggling on this hole. The best par threes you think are sawgrass. Not a long hole. It's a wedge. Tough. A lot of bogeys. You think of the postage stamp. A lot of bogeys. Very short hole. They are iconic. I, I, I bet, right, you can never remember a long par three. You never walk off and go, oh, I remember that golf course with that unbelievable par three that's really long. No. You go, oh, my God, do you remember that par three, that picturesque, that short one? It was just the wedge. It's not memorable. Now, me and my mates went out for a career last night, and we were discussing this hole, and we were literally saying before John Ram even came out and dropped this F-bomb, that, that is a ridiculous hole. It shouldn't even be there. They should make it shorter or put the tee back and make it a long par four. It ruined a golf course for me. Now, not only John Ram said this, but also live on TV, Hatton also said effing hole. 
basically in a reaction to what the heck is this hole. And as I say, all the players will be saying the same thing. Also, Hatton made par. So it's not like they're making a hash of it and just berating it because they basically messed up the hole. They still played the hole well. So, come on. I want to know your opinion on this. What do you think of long par threes that measure over 240 yards? They're ridiculous, aren't they? They just shouldn't be in there. They don't make for exciting viewing. I want to see them hitting seven irons, eight irons in close. Because have you seen the rough at this place? You miss that green, it's sitting right down at the root. Now that's just not fair. You land two iron, middle of the green. You're landing it on like an upturned saucer. It rolls off the back. You've got a hard, delicate chip out of thick rough. It's just stupid. Whereas if they miss the green with the 7 iron, then fair enough. That should be punished. But it's honestly... Oh, I'm going on. I could go on without this until I'm blue in the face. Long par threes should be banned. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. I can't wait to join you tomorrow when we bring you all the latest going into the final round. So do make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the mists of the final round of the US PGA Championship.